Good morning. For today's video, our topic is dividing decimals up to two decimal places by 10, 100, and 1,000 mentally. Math 6, Week 8, Quarter 1, Part 2. And to start our lesson, let us first have our word problem of the day. Are you excited? That's great. Mr. Santos has 45,291 pesos and 75 centavos. He wants to give it to 1,000 children in Barangay Masipag. How much money will each of them receive? Again, let us read the problem. Mr. Santos has 45,291 pesos and 75 centavos. He wants to give it to 1,000 children in Barangay Masipag. How much money will each of them receive? Let us solve the problem by following the steps in dividing decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000. So let's have our first example. We have 45,291 and 75 hundredths divided by 1,000. So to solve the problem, let's proceed to step number one. Count the number of zeros in our divisor. Our given is 45,291 and 75 hundredths divided by 1,000. In this problem, our divisor is 1,000. So how many zeros do we have in 1,000? Correct. We have three zeros. Let's proceed to step number two. In step number two, move the decimal point to the left based on the number of zeros in our divisor. Since we have three zeros in 1,000, so it means that in our dividend, which is 45,291 and 75 hundredths, from the decimal point, we need to move three times going to the left. So we have one, two, and three. So after dividing 45,291 and 75 hundredths by 1,000, the answer is 45 and 29,175 hundred thousands. So in this problem, the answer or the final answer is 45 and 29,175 hundred thousands. Is that clear? Very good. Let's proceed with our second example. In our second example, we have 6 and 89 hundredths divided by 10. So again, let's proceed with our step number 1. Step number 1, count the number of zeros in our divisor. So again, we have 6 and 89 hundredths divided by 10. In this case, or in this problem, our divisor is 10. The question is, how many zeros do we have in 10? Correct. We only have one zero. So after determining the number of zeros in our divisor, we can now proceed with step number two. So for step number two, 
move the decimal point to the left based on the number of zeros in our divisor. So since we have one zero in 10, so it means that our dividend, which is six and 89 hundredths, will move the decimal point going to the left once. So the answer for this problem is 689 thousands. So again, our final answer for, uh, for problem number two, or for example, number two is 689 thousands. Let's now proceed with our final and last example. Example number three. We have 793 divided by 100. So for step number one, let us count the number of zeros in our divisor. 793 divided by 100. In this example, our divisor is 100. So the question is, how many zeros do we have in 100? Correct. We have two zeros. Let us now proceed with step number two. Move the decimal point to the left based on the number of zeros in our divisor. So we have 793 divided by 100. So in this case, our dividend, which is 793, must move the decimal point going to the left twice or two times. So one and two. So in this example, our answer is seven and 93 hundredths. So again, our final answer for example, number three is seven and 93 hundredths. Let us try. I'll be giving you five minutes to think and answer for this particular example or exercises. So again, we need to divide it mentally without using pen and paper. Let us solve this problem. 85 and 6 tenths divided by 10. 85 and 6 tenths divided by 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So the answer is 8 and 56 hundredths. Did you get the right answer? Excellent. Let's proceed to number 2. Again, we need to divide it mentally without using your pen and your paper. We have 931 divided by 1,000. 931 divided by 1,000. Go. 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. So the correct answer is 931 thousands. Did you get the same answer? Great. Let's now proceed with number three. Again, we need to divide it mentally. No pen and no paper. Just use your mind. We have 125 and 4 tenths divided by 100. We have 125 and 4 tenths divided by 100. 5, 
four, three, two, and one. The correct answer is one and two hundred fifty-four thousands. Did you get it? Very good. Let's now proceed with number four. Divide mentally. 92 and 61 hundredths divided by 10. 92 and 61 hundredths divided by 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The correct answer is 9 and 261 thousands. Are you correct? Very good. And finally, let's have example number 5. Let's divide it mentally. 3 tenths divided by 100. Three tenths divided by 100. Five, four, three, two, and one. The correct answer is three thousands. Did you get the same answer? Excellent. Always remember, how do we divide decimals up to two decimal places by 10, 100, and 1,000 mentally? To divide decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000 mentally, first, count the number of zeros in our divisor. Second, move the decimal point to the left based on the number of zeros in our divisor. So again, how do we divide decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000 mentally? Always remember, first, count the number of zeros in our divisor. Number two, move the decimal point to the left based on the number of zeros in our divisor. And now, for our matano of the day. Get your pen and your paper and list down the question of the day. You have to divide it mentally. Number one, eight and 56 hundredths divided by 10. Eight and 56 hundredths divided by 10. Next, 45 and 79 hundredths divided by 1,000. 45 and 79 hundredths divided by 1,000. Third, 64 and 2 tenths divided by 10. 64 and 2 tenths divided by 10. And last, 73 hundredths divided by 100. 73 hundredths divided by 100. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.